Hi, in this video we are going to look into basic fluid dynamic principles that guide wind flow in urban areas. The first thing we are looking into is the so-called downgraft effect. It often occurs when wind hits high-rise buildings. The next effect is the height speed effect. With increasing height, air moves much faster than at ground level. When we look to the downwind side of buildings, we often see a wake of large revolving eddies. They create countercurrents at ground level. Looking at buildings in three dimensions, there is the Venturi effect that causes strong wind and high turbulence between buildings. In real urban environments, these effects combine to form complex flow patterns. The following images are results from one of our CFD simulations. The colored plane shows the flow at a height of 2 meters above ground. Color indicates wind speed. The Venturi effect, red areas, and downwind eddies, dark blue areas on the leeward side of buildings, are clearly visible. The two buildings on the right also have small dark blue spots just in front of them. These are caused by downdrafts. The vertical plane shows how much stronger wind can be higher up. Wind at a height of 10 meters is a usual reference point for the weather report. 100 meters above ground, the flow is much more uniform, but still strongly influenced by high-rise buildings. For selected areas, streamlines provide an excellent impression of the flow in three dimensions. 